you acting like a moron back there when somebody's trying to get over into the lane to go down But you the road. didn't. You were just easing in the middle lane and you... I was you trying to get throw, in. You're supposed to let that vehicle merge into the traffic, I, I'm not supposed buddy. to stop in the middle of the road. You, you, you didn't even do anything to... Because I had the right of way to keep head. going. Then you throw your hands then up, you point fly. at your cell no, phone. you threw up. I threw my hands up because I'm like, you're on your phone. I didn't understand you were a cop. Well, you know what? You could very well be in good shape here if you quit running your mouth. Well, I mean, you're doing it to me. I'm just trying to explain my side, too. I have okay, that right. and I understand that. So you saw it one way, I saw it another. Yeah. Basically, what I did was, is I was going to come over, I looked up and saw you coming across the top of the hill plenty of but, distance. And, and that's and it. And then when I look up again, man, you all but hit me. Well, that's because you eased over. Like, right. traffic was not moving. I cannot stop in the middle of the road the for phone. people to rear end me while my kids are in the car? No. Okay? I, you want me to stop in the middle of the road to I let you over? You I did not know. I did not want you to stop. I was just driving. I was doing what I was doing. So I know for, for a fact that if that was me in the middle lane and you were coming up, you would not have stopped and let me out. A hundred percent. That the, the nobody stopped. stops in the middle of the road to let the people in the middle nobody, lane get out. You didn't have to stop, buddy. You were coming across the top of the hill. And I was, I and was, I was going. down here to merge over into the lane, and you just, you didn't even appear. Apparently, you didn't even hit the brake until you got right on me. And then you well, just because I didn't realize you were going to just ease in front of me. You just suddenly eased in front of me. Okay. And uh, then you point to your cell phone. Because you're on the phone, you went yeah, like this. Cell phone. Come on, man! I saw you. That's why I'm like, you're you're like this. I didn't point to cell phone. Yes, you did. I wasn't on the cell phone. It's a hundred percent understandable. Whatever, you don't. Whatever, whatever I was pointing, it was not to a cell phone because I had no cell phone. This and then doing this. I can see what a cell phone is because it lights up in that dark window. Okay. 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 So I know what a cell phone okay. looks like, okay. and that was the only reason I threw my hands up because it's aggravating. Somebody on the cell phone. I didn't know you were a cop till you got in front of me uh -huh. and I seen the star. Mm -hmm. Okay? But that doesn't make no difference to me. It's not fair for me to be on my phone. It's not fair for y'all to be on yours. Yeah, but we can be. That's of course. But that's, that's fine. The yes, sir. But I wasn't on the phone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you just eased over in traffic okay. and I wasn't okay. expecting it. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I get it. All right. Okay. So you live in Union County? Yes, sir. I go to oh, church right. in Hayesville. Side the city or out here? Oh, just right here. Okay. I can pull uh, out. So Go pull the video at Valero. You get on my traffic stop again, I will arrest I'll, you. Yeah, I'll arrest you right now. Buddy. Do it, buddy. And we're going to do it. Charge you. Do it. Your ignorance. Do it, O. Go it. Go for do it. Do it. There's okay. cameras at Valero yeah. and there's cameras at Napa that see you pulled out. Shut your f***ing mouth. You don't talk to me like that. I'm not your boy. Talk to you, boy. You a boy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, how... Yes, ma'am. Can you direct me to who handles the open records request? Um, yes, I would like to put in a request to get some personnel files. Okay. Um, what is your name and number, if you don't mind? My name is Billy. Okay. And 706. Four six. And what is your name? Okay. What is your name? My name is Bobby. Bobby. Uh, and what do you do there, Bobby? Um, an administrative assistant. But, um, I can give her this message and she'll be in contact with you. When, when do you expect that she'll be available to talk? Um, she should be in tomorrow. Tomorrow? So, you know, the Georgia Open Records Act, you have three days to comply with my request. You know that, right? Have you sent in a request already? I'm giving it to you right now. I just gave it to you. Well, so um, if you'd like to write down what I need, then I can tell you. Okay. Okay. Good. So I need the person. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. So I need the personnel file and disciplinary okay. file on Sheriff Kenneth 
Henderson. I need all all public complaints that have been filed on him in the past 10 years. I need his credit card, city credit card bill. Okay. And interior footage, I mean, dash cam footage for the past six months from his vehicle. I, I know he doesn't wear a body camera. I've seen this in multiple pictures. I know his deputies wear them, but he doesn't. So, I don't know if you guys have dash cams in your cars. Um, no, we don't. Okay. So, then... Then I would like to open records request the interior footage in the in the sheriff's department for the past 30 days uh, during the open hours every day. And I know that's going to be expensive, and that's not a problem. But that okay. that is the summary of my request for now. So did you did you get all of it? Do I need to repeat anything? No, I've got it. Um, all right. We will be in touch. Okay. All right. Thank you, Bobby. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Hello. Hello. Yes. yes. My name is Billy. Is uh, Sister Bl I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Is, is this Mr. Bloom? Yes. Okay. This is uh, Vicky with the Town County Sheriff's Office. Hey, Vicky. I had gotten. I was out of the office yesterday, and I got a uh, message to give you a call. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I just want to put in an open records request. Okay. I, I, right. le I left that with her with uh, Bobby yesterday, but I'll give it to you again real quick. Okay. Is there any way that you can email me the request so I can kind of have it in a, a list form of what I need to go through so I can check it off? Yes, ma'am. What, what is the email address? Because it's not on the okay. website. Wait, just Wait just one second. Okay. It should be, but we're we're waiting to get that that fixed. Okay, it's going to be open records request. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, scratch that. Open records PCSO. PCSO. PTSO. No, TC, short for Towns County Sheriff's Office. CC. Oh, TC. Okay, I got you. Yes. At Towns County. G A. Com. Okay. All right. Great. So, that's TC. What was it? What was the other one? Uh, it's Open Records TCSO at TownsCountyGA.com. Okay. I got it now. I got it. Got well, it? Okay. Yes. Yeah. But let me go ahead and give it. Give it to. You. It's not much at this time. It's just a few things. Okay. Um, I'm almost okay. sure that at this point, the credit, the the city credit card bill. Does that go to Town Hall, or do you guys process that as well? We don't have a city credit card. Okay, all right, great. So we can eliminate that one. So all I really need then at this time is the personnel file um, and disciplinary file on Sheriff Kenneth Henderson. I need that um, as well as he doesn't wear a body cam. Is that correct? No, and, and we do not have a personnel file on him here in our office, and we do not have um, any disciplinary action files on him. Um, he's only been the sheriff for just a little over a year and a half. Okay. And then um, the interior footage of the office, it is on a 25-day loop cycle. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has no sound. It's just in its own our evidence room door. And you're more than welcome to come by here and, and look at it because it's on a hard drive. Right. So if you want, it, it, it doesn't, it's not where we can, you know, make a, a tape of it. But you can come here, you, you're more than welcome to, you know, run by here and, and give it a, a look over. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about three and a half hours away. I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, oh. So, okay, so, okay. so the, there's no interior footage inside of the sheriff's department that has audio. No, the only footage, the only... The only interior camera that we have, it's um, facing towards our evidence room door. Gotcha. Okay. I and gotcha. I don't know. That's all yeah. we have. We don't have any other type of cameras in here. Okay. Great. So, I guess the GBI would have... I've already open requested with the GBI. Um, I okay. guess I'll have to get his personnel file from them. Is that what you're okay. telling me? Yes, we don't have one here. 
we, we don't have a, a personnel file on the sheriff, so we don't have, and we've not had any disciplinary actions since he's become sheriff, so we don't have anything like that either. Okay, all right, so well, one more thing, that he, and I really do okay. appreciate your help, by the way. Thank you so much. Oh, you're um, welcome. Any public complaint on Sheriff Kenneth Henderson in the past year that he's been a sheriff? No, we don't have anything like that either. Nothing. Wow, okay. That's, that's kind of hard to believe, but uh, okay, well, I have to take your word on that, ma'am. No, we don't have anything. I'm sorry. I see I see that. Uh, okay, so then I'm just going to have to I, I'll trickle through the GBI and see what they, which I've already done. I kind of figured okay. they would have a majority of those, like, sheriff's uh, information files, disciplinary records and all that. They would have all that, so I'm, I'll just wait on that. But I do appreciate you calling me back. Thank you You're so welcome. much. All right, you have a good weekend. You too. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Right, there's a filming. Looks like he's filming. Hello? Yes, is this Mr. Bloom? Yes, it is. Yes, uh, Mr. Bloom. My name is... I'm the attorney for Towns County. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Um, so, uh, I have been working with Vicki about responding to your open records request, and so I'm just trying to see if we can get it worked out so you can get what you're asking for. Yes, sir. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, um... First off, let me just make sure. So, I had, you know, someone had forwarded to me this statement that you had made about that she was incriminating herself and all kinds of stuff like that. Real quick, guys, we're going to cover this this title because it's very specific to my claim that um, Vicky on the phone basically wouldn't did not want to or did not know how to fulfill my open records request. Either way, it was a no. So let's talk about 50-18-74, penalty for violations, procedure for commencement of prosecution. Any person or entity knowing and willfully violating the provisions of this article by failing or refusing to provide access to records not subject to exemptions from this article. And I'm not talking about swinging by and looking at it either. Um, we're going to talk more about that later in the video. By knowingly and willfully failing or refusing to provide access to such records within the time limit set forth in this article or by knowingly and will, willingly willingly frustrating or frustrating or attempting to frustrate the access to records it's exactly what I'm dealing with right now by the way um, intentionally making records difficult to obtain or review shall be guilty of a misdemeanor and upon conviction shall be punished by a fine not to exceed $1,000 for the first violation so that's the law Okay, this is the Open Records Law. You can download the Open Records Law here at the Attorney General's Office webpage. And it's right here. It just opens right up, right up. It's a pretty big PDF file. I cover a lot of this stuff in my videos. Um, but feel free to go and check that out and download a copy of it and keep it for yourself. Put it on your phone. Uh, so let's get back to the video. And you're recording some laws. First off, uh, you're conflating the federal uh information uh act the the it's the the i think it's uh open information act and the georgia law okay you're quoting georgia law but then you're quoting the the federal okay and there's different standards and different rules for that mm -hmm. okay so all i'm trying to do is just trying to get to what what you need and she had made you had made an oral request she made an oral response to you but i think it should all be in writing that way everybody knows what you asked for and knows what she sends yeah, does that yeah, make yeah. sense yeah it makes plenty of sense uh, in okay. fact if you watch my last video uh you'll find that the email address on their web page is is no good looky here they're still using the same email address that don't work by the way it is July 26th at 4.28 p.m. That email address does not work. Still, that shows you how bad they want to fill requests. Or how much they want to fill requests. It's still blocked here. Okay. And there, there is no way to write into that sheriff's department. The only way you can do a request with them is over the phone or in person. Well, that, that's not that's not true. They have email addresses. Uh, Where? I, uh, should be on their website. I don't know about this one about the open records request email. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not familiar with that. Yeah, okay, I got but, you. But, but let me do this. Let me simplify this. Okay. okay. Right. Send it to me. Okay. Okay. 
and then that way I'll see that the you know it gets to the proper parties. Okay. Gotcha. Now, what, so and what what is your email address? F I R M dot com. Okay. All right. And you yeah. and okay. you work for the county. I yes, I'm the, the attorney for the county. Okay. Yes. Great. Great. Thanks, okay. Rob. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So like and, I was saying, man, it's it's you know I would just put in a simple request. I'll email this to you later because there's some additional stuff, but. There, there is no email address on their website. I guess, I guess you know they they removed it. They just put the email address up just a few days ago, and that's not correct. It keeps coming back, even though I changed it to .gov, .com, and .org. Um, anyway, that's not your problem, boss. Um, you know, but I'm just saying, there's 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 no way you can go on their Facebook. You can't message them. You can't leave comments. You just no way to only way to contact them is through that phone number, which is. And I did. I called her initially from the get go, Vicky. The first thing I did was call her, and right. she and she took she she directed me to the website which I'd already been on, and she directed me to the link to the open records link for the email. And of course, like I said, none of that works. It's it seems like there's a lot of roadblocks to prevent FOIA requests from happening. I shouldn't even be talking to you about getting open records requests because now it's done gotten too difficult. <laughs> You know, it's frustrating at this point to have to go through all these different people just to get, you know, compliance on the Open Records Act. Okay, and, you so know. I understand, but now you said for you, again, you're you're conflating the federal and the state. Okay? Yeah, there, there's there's two. There's there's the Freedom of Information Act and there's the Open Records Act. The Open Records right. Act is a state law, is a state right. act. Um, the Open Records Act is a federal document. It's a federal law that oversees right. and supersedes all other any federal law supersedes any state law or state act. Um, so I, I definitely refer to both of them because when it comes to public and elected officials, we're gonna it, it'll be a federal you know thing. It, it's not okay. really so much a th state thing. But what I have to do is basically rob all i'm doing is following the process you know i'm not trying to cause anybody any problems I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get access to information which has been very difficult up to this point which in itself is an open records violation that's the incriminating part and the and and, and, and then speaking of that because since you brought that up um she did she said that she that the the footage from the camera is on a hard drive so is all the police body cam and dash cam is ends up on hard drives and she said there's no way to get that onto tape or anything else. That's not true. That's that's not the law. That it's not well, no 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 no. Okay. All right. You know, I you you know, you you say I'm versed in the law, but then again you're continuing to conflate things. Let me let me say this. Under open records act, okay, of the state of Georgia, which is what you cited right. in your yeah, you know, okay. Um the the open records act says that you are allowed to view and inspect or copies can be made and really uh the government just has to give you you know access to the record okay mm -hmm. right now to, what she was saying was and i i've talked to vicky there's not a tape that exists that she can copy and send to you she has to create this tape does that make sense from the evidence room and that, what i understand yes. is it so and and the law is very clear a government doesn't have to create something to respond to an open record because you know people will if say it if it like, doesn't exist right yeah right so, so it doesn't so that footage now, definitely you know, exists sir she you the whole phone call is on is in the video i'm sorry say that again the entire phone call that i had with her i know but what what did you say exist that she said didn't exist if the record does not exist it cannot be created that's the law that you're referring to, no, no, no. but the record okay. definitely exists. There is definitely what, camera what, footage me, on what, the camera. Excuse me. What what record exists that you say that she said didn't exist? She said, back into the phone call. She said uh -huh. that the security camera over the property room is on a 24-hour loop. That's that is, correct. It's recorded to a hard drive that right. can't be taken from the hard drive and put on. I did whatever whatever kind of media. That was her statement, not mine, sir. I didn't make that up. No, no, no. She said that there's, there doesn't exist a tape. Because it's on a hard drive. Right. So if you want, if, it, it doesn't, it's not where we can, you know, make a, a tape of it. Of that, okay. There does, there's no tape okay. of that. The, so there's so no tape of have, it. Right. So you're welcome to view from the hard drive 
because that's what exists. Okay. The hard drive exists. I got okay? you. I got you. Now, I mean, I guess... I understand can, the point you're trying to make right now. I yeah. truly do. Right. Okay. And so, and and here's one of the concerns that I have, and I'll just, just be very candid. See, that, that is a record of the evidence room, which, you know, they're making sure that the right people bring in evidence and don't remove evidence. That's the purpose of it. Right. Okay? Yeah, I understand. Now, there are open cases with the sheriff's office right now, and if you'll study the law, it says that they don't have to d disclose records of existing and open cases. Well, some of that evidence is. So the point I'm coming to is, is that to create that for just general public to see who's doing, you know, who's bringing in evidence for different things, we have no problem with you seeing it and and seeing if that i don't know if the sheriff's on that or not i don't know if the sheriff goes to the evidence room okay so oh, i have no idea i mean i don't really care about that part but she didn't she didn't explain any of those things she didn't articulate any of the things that you're articulating okay. right now okay she just right. said she couldn't do it yeah okay well i mean you know it, it, it it's, a, it's a matter of, of words i mean so here's the thing um if you'll send the records request to me now and I'm just, I'm going to help you, okay? I'm I'm going to help you get this straight, okay? Okay, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got okay. you. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I, I really because, do. Because I, I don't, you know, I mean, there's, I know every, everybody thinks that, oh, there's these little old, you know, not a, there's, there's no, there's no intent to, to hold back or, or anything like that here. It's just trying to get right what needs to be right. That's, you know, and that's, Rob, that's the problem I'm having is that she didn't explain any of these things to me. She okay. wasn't well, trying to make anything right. You can listen to the phone call over and over again, and you'll come to the same conclusion that the answer was no all the way through. It's not no. It's just, but you got to understand what you're asking for. Okay. You asked for the city credit card. I asked for, yeah, the city credit card bill. That okay. uh, that I have uh, found that is hand that is a that is handled through the, t the town hall or city hall, which I'm getting around to calling them today. Okay, you're welcome to do it, but it won't do you any good because you got to think about what you're asking. Right. Okay. You asked for the city credit card. City, county credit card, flex card, no. uh, whoa, officer whoa, whoa, card. Whoa, 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 whoa! Now you're 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 holding people to what they said, so. So I need to be specific. Then the that's what you're saying. Card. Huh? So I so like you said, it's a play on words, I guess. So I need it's to be specific. No no no, 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 no. It's not a play on words. It's that's why these things need to be in writing so we can get them right. Okay, gotcha. You're asking for the city credit card. We don't have the city credit card because we're not the city. Right. You're the county. We're the county. Yep. Okay. That my mistake. So, I don't get that deck. I don't get that media. That's fine. I'm okay with that because okay, I misspoke. Now, I won't make that mistake again. But but here's the thing is I don't mind if you get what you ask for just get just ask for what we have right okay? gotcha okay that's all I'm trying to do is there's there's no attempt to to try and get around you or anything I promise you that it's just we can only respond to what you ask for okay right right yeah, yeah. I understand yeah all right so if you ask for what we have we will we will be glad to provide it but we we you know when you said go to the town hall or to the town council. You can get their credit card, but that's still not going to have anything to do with the sheriff. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just, I'm just, what I'm trying to do, Rob, is work my way to the expense account or credit card or county card or whatever it is, whatever, whatever means the police use, financial asset the police use to purchase fuel, you know, and things like that to, okay. to reimburse themselves. However they do that, that's really all I'm trying to get down to is that account, that bill and what it's used for, how it's being used, specifically by police officers, by county officials uh, okay. that work for the sheriff's okay. department, things like But I'll, I'll, okay. I'll detail that out in my email. I understand right. now that my email was very vague, and I wasn't a specific enough, but right. I'm going to get better at that, Rob, I promise you. Uh, okay, that's fine. I mean, but I'm just trying to, to make sure that you, that we give you what you asked for, but, and, and because, you know, I didn't even have to bring up the fact that it's a city card, because... Her response was, we don't have the city card. Well, that's a... She was correct, yes. Perfectly legal response, but I'm not going to do that and make it look like we're trying to hold something, because we're not, okay? Now, you asked for the personnel file with the sheriff, okay? Correct. She Ken said there's no personnel file or disciplinary file of the sheriff for the sheriff's office, because you asked for it from the sheriff's office, okay? Right, yes, sir. That is 100% true, okay? Okay. 
However, the the financial side is managed by the commission office. Okay. Gotcha. There is a personnel file in the commissioner's office because for him to be paid, for him to, to receive a check, you know, we have to have that information for his insurance, things like that. Yes, sir. So the, the commissioner has a personnel file, okay? So if you will submit it in writing to me, I will see that the correct files get to you. Fantastic, uh, man. That's, that's, because, that's, all I, that's all I want. Yeah, okay. Well, but, but this this... But they have to explain that stuff the on the phone, though, when I call them. They, they really do have to articulate, you know, they have to mediate what I'm requesting and say, no, you're incorrect, sir. I deal with internal affairs from all police departments here, here in my own town. And he's 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 that way. He's he tells me, he says, listen, man, if you want this, you have to go to the city engineering department. He's very specific. And he's we talk all the time and he's a really super nice guy. And he definitely right. wants me to get the information. But, you know, did my request just went nowhere on that phone call not only that the email doesn't work the facebook messages is, is gone well, you can't contact okay. anyone at the sheriff's department rather than phone calls and even the phone number you know i mean it, it seems like a really tangled up mess and all i should have to do is what i do with everyone else i've done this a lot is just go on the website email the custodian of records and get the media but i'm having to go through way too much at this point to get anything yeah. from Towns County Sheriff's Department, which is, that's my problem right now, Rob. I'm I, sure you I, can understand I, that. I mean, I, I would, I would, there's, there's open records requests made every week to the Towns County Sheriff's Department, to the County Commission, and they are responded to. I don't know why you seem, to, but, but I'm just, but the thing is, I'm reaching out to you, trying to assist you in getting what you're, you're intending to get. Oh yeah, I, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that you're trying to help me yeah. right now. None at all. Yeah, yeah. I, I okay. mean, I really appreciate right. that. Um, I just sure. wish that they had a you know mitigated some of this. That they had mitigated me and you talking earlier on by just simply explaining things to me and, and saying, hey, no, you, we can't provide you with that. This is why. And and you know, look, and I'm not going to read the entire law dictionary to to figure every single word out. I just made a simple request. I just want it simply re fulfilled. Whatever the cost is, I don't have no problem. Um, I don't know how that works, too. But the fact that you're calling me now, there's a problem that, that exists. Because you wouldn't call me. At the, I've never been contacted by a county attorney. And, mm, that's, yeah. and I've made a lot of open records requests in the state of Georgia with lots of different police agencies. As a matter of fact, you can watch all the videos on my YouTube channel from those interactions. But I've never, it's never gotten to the point where I had to speak to an attorney to get a simple um, request, you know, in. All she had to say was, you need to contact the commissioner's office to get Mr. Henderson's personnel file. I would have been more than happy. That would have been great. That would have saved me a lot of time, and it would have prevented you and my tax dollars, because I actually have a real job in the state of Georgia that I work a nine-to-five, that my tax dollars would be wasted on someone like you calling me and wasting a whole bunch of time when it wasn't completely necessary at all it was unnecessary this whole well, phone call is unnecessary it, it is it is not terribly uncommon when open records requests are conflated or not not clear something for me to contact the person and say look this is really what you're asking because see vicky or the sheriff's office and all is not supposed to enter into the legal advice of okay sir you're asking for this or you're asking for that you need to do this or that they're not supposed to do that you right. see? they're not okay. supposed to interpret the, the the open records act and all so that's why i'm doing it is I'm, I'm just you know we're, we're going to be open and honest we're open and honest all the time on this stuff mm -hmm. we really are and, and that's why i'm calling you is to, i never said you wasn't i never said anybody wasn't i'm just saying there's roadblocks <laughs> that's all well, I, I don't think there's roadblocks. I mean, but but Mr. Bloom, I mean, you you must be if you're if you're honest, you have to show that you know if you go to your to your videos and to your to your comments and all you're talking about, you know, she's going to appear before a federal judge. She's violated the law. When you start making statements like that, mm -hmm. and you start saying that to the public, and you start making accusations mm -hmm. of 
slander per se. And, no, it's not and, slander, boss. None of that slander. Well, it's it's slander when you when you say someone's committed a, a crime. I didn't say anybody committed anything. I just said she incriminated herself by not be not willing to fulfill no, sir, my request said, on the video. Said, when you said you go appear before a federal judge, the reason you'd appear before a federal judge is violation of the law. That's incorrect, sir. That 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 would happen in a 1983 civil rights complaint, whether I choose whether we go through a state court or federal court. So you so you're not you're not familiar with the fact that 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 uh, violation of open records can rise to the occasion of a misdemeanor. You're not familiar with that. I am. A, I am. A, I'm aware. A thousand dollars and fifteen hundred dollar fine for each uh, violation. Okay. So. The point I'm coming to is you're 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 making accusations. I I want to get away from the accusations and simply get you what you want. Okay. So um, if you'll send that to me, then I will make sure it gets to the proper parties to 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 respond to you. Now, to understand, you know, we have three days to respond. If we have the records available that can be responded to within three days, then you get those within three days. If they're not available within three days, then we respond to you telling you how long it will be and what the cost will be if we have if we incur cost above the minimum amount. Yes, know, for, yes, sir. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm completely so aware of, of, of all that, yeah, yes. But yeah, I do so appreciate you reminding me. Yeah. So. Okay, all right. So if you can get that to me, then then we can fulfill your request. Okay? Sound, sounds great, Mr. Rob. I appreciate your time and I appreciate yes. you calling me. I, I really hate sure. to, that that it came to this, that to, to do the resources that are being used right now to deal with this is ridiculous. It really is. I don't know how much you make and I don't really care, but I'm gonna find that out later on through a FOIA request or open records request. Um, but sure. I think it's ridiculous that the county is, is trying to leverage an attorney to fight off a little YouTuber. That's, that's, that's really crazy to me. Okay. And that's what this really uh, is, uh, Rob. We're not leveraging anything to fight off anybody. I'm just trying to streamline the process. And you can find out that it's not uncommon for me to make responses when people make requests under Open Records Act. And they say, hey, you're not giving me what I asked for. Then I, I to, to make sure we don't continue with all of this banter, Mm -hmm. then I can streamline the process, and that's not uncommon for me to do that. Gotcha. Okay? Yeah, I understand. I understand your part. Okay. I mean, listen, listen, I appreciate you, Rob, first and foremost, because you called me, and you took the time, and you want to get this matter straight, and, and you have no idea how much that means to me. That's awesome, man. Um, but, you know, we there, there has to be some training at that police, at that sheriff's office, man, with uh, if you're going to be a custodian of open records, I mean, I can give you a good example Mr. Uh, William McCarty at Richmond County Sheriff's Office. He's the internal affairs sergeant. He is excellent, man. It, you know, I don't share much of the uh, my interaction with him because he's always been professional. He's been straight up. He's like, listen, I can't give this to you because it's under investigation. You can try me back later. And, and, and sometimes, you know, there's issues where I feel like I could have gotten a little more. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, he... Is, is keeping it within our little group. It's like, here's what I got. This is what I don't have. Cool, man. Thank you. I appreciate you, you know, making the attempt. That's that's all I ever try to do. You know, I'm not trying to make anybody look bad. You know, if you do wrong, then that's on you, man. You make yourself look bad. If I'm not going to speculate, I don't do that in my videos. I just I just show what's there. And, you know, and what it is is what it is. But uh, a little open openness at in the sheriff's department will go a long way. We'll probably save you a lot of headache, <laughs> a whole lot of headache. The fact that you had to constantly get involved because you just said that, that you from time to time get involved means that there's issues there that shouldn't exist. No, no, I, you know, I, I, I you, you're putting words in my mouth. I didn't say I get involved with the sheriff's office. There have been times I've been involved with the sheriff's office, open records. Right. Sometimes I get involved with the commissioner. I mean, people send things in that are conflated and they go under federal law, under for you, I'm asking for. And then rather than have a, a clerk of the commission or somebody explain the law to them, I call them up and go, hey, you're asking for this. Do you really want that? That's yeah, all yeah. I'm doing here is gotcha. trying to. Yeah. And, and I have people say, well, I want you to send me the city budget. And then instead of a clerk explaining the law, I call them up or, or sometimes email them if it's a, if it's a email request. And I'll say, hey, 
you're asking for us to send you a city budget. We don't have anything to do with the city. You need to go to the city because when you start advising people as to the meaning of the law, it's not efficient for a clerk or someone to do that because it's it's just better if I just take care of it. Oh, you well, know, I mean, like you can watch you video. Can you, if you ever watch Audit the Audit or Long Island Audit, any of those guys, <laughs> everywhere they go, the, the clerks usually tell them where the documents they're looking for exist, which is usually in open records or anything like that. They say, oh, well, this, you can find... Uh, Sean Reyes does it all the time. He asks for the city budget everywhere he goes. They tell him exactly where to go. Each person he deals with, they tell him where to go. Um, so that's, that's, that's not legal advice. That's just being common and being courteous and giving people the proper direction so they don't get lost in the building and end up somewhere where they shouldn't be. If, well, you're, if you're dealing with a physical visit um, or something like that, but over the phone it's a little more difficult. There's, there's a lot more variables involved. There's a lot more people right. that seem to get involved, um, especially when you're dealing with that and or email or anything like that. Okay. Well, like I said, I think we can get it if you can just email your request to me. I'll make sure it gets to the correct people, and then, then we'll go from there. Okay? All right. Sounds good, Mr. Rob. I appreciate you, sir. Right. Yes. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.